Langflow Store has tons of examples of flows, components, and different bundles. So for example, in this case, I can click on the store and go to the flows and see what the community contributed to the store. So each of these examples of flows in this case shows the number of downloads and also how many people liked it, as well as you have an option to save it for yourself, which you can do by liking it, as well as you can install it locally. The way you can get started the first time is by first having an API key. And you can get this API key for free. You go to the Langflow website, langflow.org, and over there you can click on the option for store and this will take you to your login and this is a free account that you can make with Langflow store and once you log in this store then you can see that you have an option to go to your settings and in here you can get the API key you can generate as many API keys as you like once you hit generate you'll get a key that you can copy and then bring it back over to your store. And in here, you can add the API key and save it. And once you save it, you have access to the store. Installing an app or a flow from Langflow Store is quite easy. You basically click this plus option and you'll see that it will be available in your projects. So for example, I'm gonna take this chain of thought flow and then have it available within my instance. Now I can also see that there is an option to chat or use the playground directly for this particular flow. So you can test it without having to install it, but then we can also install it locally by clicking plus. And now this should be available within my collection. So I'll go back to my collection and now I can see that it is available under my projects. And once I open this, now I can see the complete flow with all of the different components available in here. Now the store also contains different components. Those were contributed by the community. So for example, I can take this file loader and also add that to my collection and I can go back and see that this is available. Now this is not gonna be something you can open as you can open a flow. If you were in any of these flows, you can see that that particular component that you just install from the store will be under the saved components, which you can drag and drop and use as any other component in the flow. Now, it is also highly recommended for the community to contribute and to help each other out. So, for example, I can go in to any of my flows and then share this particular flow by clicking the share button. It will show the name that I have for this flow as well as description and this will be publicly available in the store and now I can also set workflow status to public if we want we can change the name in the settings where we can give it a name as well as a description that talks about the flow and then push it to the store we can do that for each of these components as well I can go to the component of here, split text, and then say that I wanna share this, and then I can share this with the name and description available. One last thing about the store is, if you were to go to langflow.store, you can go to my library and then see all of the flows or components that you have contributed to the community. So in that case, you have an option if you'd like to delete, share, or download as needed from the store. Let us know what flows or components are your favorite on the store.